up being on some chill shit We go zero to a hundred nigga real quick They be on that rap to pay the bill shit And I don't feel that shit, not even a little bit YouTube, what's the deal? This your boy Earwell And I'm here with this My Career Commentary and man, look, man, we going up against Paul George, man. Y'all seen the thumbnails, Paul George versus DeAndre Wade. The showdown, two of the best young stuff, small forwards in the league. Look at that team, they got George Hill, Lou Williams, I think. But it fuck them. Look what we got. We got a, we got a squad. We got a squad. So right here, y'all see, I got on them KDs. I forgot, my shoes didn't change. I went out of my career for no reason, basically. My shoes ain't even changed. Like, come on, bro. Come on, 2K. Like, why should I even have to go out of my career or even do any type of saving? Like, why don't that just crap automatically just change? Like, like that, that's stupid. Like, like that's 2K logic, though. So, y'all you, see this nigga Paul George dap up everybody but me. And they gonna come stand beside me like we cool or something. Have a conversation. No, bro. So, it's 2 to 1 already. They got the lead. I'm trying to go right at this nigga Paul George. I end up giving it to D12. And, y'all, that's a side plot, man. It's D12 against Roy Hibbert. I know Roy Hibbert. Had the one of the most worst postseasons in NBA history, but he did. Um, he, he's pretty good in this game. I mean, he all right. Um, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He all right. Nah, nah, he average. He average. But D12 in this game. Oh, look at this shit! My God, my dude just put the hammer on this nigga. Look at this. Ah, that I know it rattled in, but. But still though, that, that's that's that was thunder right there. When I did that, I, I ain't never seen my dude cop back like that. But look right here, Roy Hibbert facing up and making that jump over D12, knowing he ain't got no jump shot. But like I said, man, Roy Hibbert pretty decent in this game, so it's a subplot. Oh look, I ain't gonna lie, Paul George got me with that damn move right there. <laughs> he killed me, like I ain't even gonna lie to you. So, but like I was saying before, I keep getting cut off between this. Look at this defense. Look, Paul George, what the hell was you thinking? No. Let me let me show you how to score right here, bro. Right here, man. Right here. All right, so I got the ball. I'm dribbling up the court. Luis Scola on me. I'm going around the pick. I wanted to shoot a three pointer, but I'm looking for somebody to pass it to. I'm going in the post right here, getting Paul George in the air, showing him the post moves and laying the ball in softly right there. But let me finish my comment this time. But D12 is um he kind of like D12 and Ray Hibbert, two of the best centers in the league. I would say two of the top centers. I don't know. Ray Hibbert might not even be top ten after the postseason he had, but. But um, he um, is two of the best centers on this game at least. Right here, versus D12, so that's gonna be a pretty good matchup. So right here, I got 14 points, one assist, one rebound. Now y'all, I'm not ooh, look, there ain't the needle, man. That's what I do. I do this in real life. I do this on the game. I do this everywhere. The passing is real. So right here, Luis Scola makes that jump shot right there to extend their lead. 42, 36, five minutes left in the second quarter. Y'all know, man. I'm gonna come right back at him. I'm walking the ball to court. This man, Paul George, no, he can't guard me. I'm getting a screen from D12. Going all the way to the basket with that two-handed jam right there. And Paul George, come on, man. When you found me, bro, it felt like a fly just landed on me. Like, come on, bro. 6'8", 270. Pure muscle. But, so y'all know we're going to the line. No dribble, no, oh, maybe a little bit of spin. And I missed that free throw, man. Y'all, but y'all know I ain't, I ain't the one to be missing free throws. I'm going to come back and I'm going to make the next one. So D12 gets that rebound right there. I'm going coast to coast with it. And look at this cheese. Like, he automatically just knew I was finna do that. Like, I wasn't gonna pull up for a jumper or nothing. He automatically knew. Come on, man. They, they gotta fix the charge on this game. They always setting up charge every time I go to the page. Like, come on. So, right, it, excuse me, y'all have my phone, y'all. That's my girlfriend. But, but, um, y'all see, I don't know what just happened. I just missed that whole play. So, D12 got the ball. He tried to throw me the oop. I ended up getting the ball and dunking on this nigga, Paul George. Move, Paul George. I'm making a statement. You was the... Bro, you the fourth best small forward in the league. It's me, LeBron, Durant, Paul George. That's it. I don't even know who the fifth dude is, but Paul George, you're not even in the conversation right now, bro. So look at this. Ian Mahimi, get that shit out of here, boy. What's come on? What's wrong with you, bro? No flex zone in here, bro. Look, look at this. Look at that amazing block right there. Get that out of here. Beautiful timing by DeAndre. It's showing some emotion even, man. Let's go. So it's 54-51. We down by three. I'm bumping into Paul George right there. I thought I was going to get me another block. But Paul George ended up making that layout right there. And y'all know, man, Paul George, you finished with layups. But let me show y'all what I'm going to come back down here and do. I'm going to come down here and finish with a strong Tomahawk dunk. That's what I do. You finishing layups. I'm finishing dunks. With the left hand, the off hand. So it's 60 to 55 right here. I'm getting this rebound right here. 
in the third quarter. I only got four assists and two rebounds. So, y'all know that's really not my game. And so, right here, I'm dunking on this nigga, Paul George. Come on, Paul. You've already lost the battle. The war hadn't even started yet, he's saying. But he already lost this battle. Right there, no dribbling, no spin. I get that and one free throw to go in. So, Lou Williams got the ball in the perimeter for the Pacers. 63-60, 77 minutes. I said 70 minutes. Seven minutes left in the third quarter. He cut Paul George coming around that screen. I'm playing some pretty good defense. He pulling up with the Kobe fadeaway. Misses that one right there. D12, James Harden. To me, I'm pulling up for three. Ice water in my veins, man. Y'all know my jump shot is ice water. If y'all was wondering, my jump shot is base four and release Paul George. But I got the Paul George release on quick. So that's the jumper I've been having for a long time. And I know I'm supposed to have an update video. And I'm going to have that update video soon. So don't trip. It's probably going to come out after this video. So um, 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 be looking. Be looking out. Because uh, after this game, it's the All-Star game. No, I'm going to post the update video, then the All-Star game. So be expecting that. And y'all, make sure if you didn't leave any questions. If you missed out leaving questions on my last video and you just now watching this video and didn't know I was doing Q&A on Sunday, leave your questions below in the comment section of this video because I'm going to go to both videos and I'm going to look at the questions. So if you already, so if you look already at the question, my phone, man, let me put my phone aside. But if you already looked at, um, if you already put your question in the other video, no need to post the same question over here. Just like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel. And, uh, we doing our thing, man. I'm back to 2,000 subs now. I only need, like, I think 510 more subs to pass my other channel. That's the goal, man. After that, I'm, uh, I need to get to this 100K, man. I need to, need to start getting this done. So, it's 85, 82 right here. I'm putting up from deep. Oh, my jump shot was not ice water right there. I was a little bit tired. My dude ain't had no stamina, so I ain't really expecting to make that. I just threw some bullshit. So, it's 85, 84, nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. Paul George, I'm playing pretty good defense. He kicks it out to David West. David West missed that jump shot. I get the rebound. Y'all know, I'm, I'm starting to kind of fill the stat sheet up. Look right there, the beautiful bounce pass to Terrence Jones. And he slams it down to give us a one-point lead. So 90 to 87 now. Paul George giving the ball right back to George Hill. They ran up multiple screens out. That was an excellent play drawn up by the Pacers to get the alley oop to Paul George, even though that he ain't, he ain't flexing on nobody in the alley oop, but it's cool. So right here, I got the ball on the left wing, feeding it to D12, the best center in the lead, the best center to play with on this game, the ultimate finisher as he knocks down that hook shot, even though he ain't got that. In real life, but that's none of my business. So right here, James Harden makes that jump shot, and that's the first sight of James Harden in this video. James Harden actually did have a great video, a good um game this game. He just really didn't have no highlights, so I really didn't include thinking put him in the game. So right here, I'm putting up for three, knocking that one down. Ice water in my veins, man. Y'all know how we do. It's 97. Or, well, now it's 105, 104, 36 seconds left, cutting right to the crunch time. Right here, David West knocks down that. That whatever the hell that was, a layup over D12 or something like that. So it's 106, 105. I'm going Euro stepping, dunking it down. The Pacers call timeout with 27 seconds left, and we are winning this game right now. So George Hill with the ball at the top of the key, trying to. Get, I know they're trying to give it to Paul George. I'm trying to deny Paul George the ball. I could have got that steal, I thought, but right here they kick it back out to George Hill. George Hill does not want to take that jump shot at three. So right there, I'll end up losing Paul George, who kicks it over to George Hill, who's wide open. George Hill misses in the clutch. And y'all know, here we go, man. I got my chance to seal off the game right here. No dribble, no spin. And I'm going to get that first free throw to bounce in right there. It's to put us up by three point, or two points. So this one's for the three-point lead, and I end up missing it. But I got Rudy Gay free throw, too, so I might, I might need to change that. But my this man, bro, how come to me they always almost end up making the full court shots to beat me, bro? Like that always almost happens to me. But we ended up winning the game, 108, 106. The Hall of Fame verification is at the end of the video. He, Doris Burke, finna talk to James Harden. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on this video, and I'm gone. Well, James has certainly seen the entire team stay with the game plan and stayed focused to try to play at the pace you're looking to. Yeah, they did a good job. They did a very good job. Uh, we tried to push the ball as much as possible. We couldn't get off this new down, so uh, we stuck with it. Four quarters and grinded it out. Terrific win. Congratulations. Guys, back to you. Jordan, thank you. Interesting.